here on Rogers TV to win that trivia prize at 660-7562 uh, is our number. Just name a Kellogg's char uh, character and it segues right into what we're talking about it now, Bonnie. sure does. Yeah. Eva Redpath is here, a fitness expert and personal trainer. We're talking about Kellogg's cereal and how it can get people get back on track to their New Year's resolutions. Absolutely. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming in from Toronto. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself first. For sure. I'm working downtown Toronto right now as a personal trainer and women's fitness expert. I'm teaching a women's only conditioning class. Has nothing to do with going to the gym, but it does put women in a really motivating group atmosphere and challenges them to reach their goals. What happens in that? Uh, what happens in that class? Or it's an hour and 15 minute full body workout. Mm -hmm. Very inspiring. It runs in an eight week session. So it's teaching women that you need to commit to achieve mm -hmm. your goals. Do you uh, meet women on a regular basis who maybe say, oh, well, I don't eat a lot. I don't eat breakfast. And I do. And do you have to talk to them about the importance of having something like cereal or something in the morning? Do you know what? Nutrition is 70% of what we're doing. It uh, really complements what I do in terms of helping people to be fit with exercise. But following a nutrition plan is really important. I know we all have these moments where we're very busy, we're leaving the house without eating breakfast, and you sort of find yourself in these compromising positions. For example, if you're at your morning coffee shop and you're standing there and you haven't had your breakfast, you're craving your coffee, and you're looking at the delicious looking muffins and loaves in the case. And you have to know that in points like this, I call them moments of temptation, mm. you have the ability of making a really bad choice. And if you're prepared, then perhaps you'll make a better choice, such as having a little Kellogg's Special K bar in your purse, something that you know is the right portion and has the right amount of nutrients inside for you. Let's talk about the, uh, the, spe is the Special K Challenge is what yes. it's called. Uh, specialk.ca is the website. Folks, just tell us all, all about the challenge. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So the challenge has to do with making New Year's resolutions. So we're in February now, and perhaps uh, we've fallen off course with our January New Year's resolutions, or we haven't even started yet. Mm -hmm. And so the first thing is it's not too late. Okay, You can always make a change, especially where your health and nutrition is concerned. Mm -hmm. So the Special K Challenge is to exercise regularly, and eat well-balanced meals for four weeks and see how you feel. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty simple mm -hmm. to me. It is. Yeah, it is. It's quite simple. And I think mm -hmm. that that's a, a pretty good uh, bit of advice is keep it simple. Absolutely. You know? These things don't have to be overwhelming. And I think that, you know, everyone thinks, well, I've got to get to the gym as soon as January hits. And that is not it. Mm -hmm. It's about living actively, mm -hmm. you know, taking the stairs rather than the escalator or elevator, getting off the bus and walking early, what have you, even exercising with family members. It's winter. We've got great snow outside. How about a little skate on a, on a park or, um, you know, a frozen over lake. Mm -hmm. All of these things are simple and it's just about living actively. Mm -hmm. What are the uh, what are the kinds of clients you meet on a regular basis? Are these a lot of women, you know, with with kids at home or career women that are trying to sort of manage their time accordingly? Absolutely, and it, it's difficult for people who have set schedules to try and fit in exercise. If you're looking at your schedule and there's no way you think that it can fit in, so I think it's about um, making realistic goals. So even if it's not getting to the gym, but maybe partaking in some type of exercising activity that you've always wanted to do, like getting into a group dance class mm -hmm. or taking some form of a martial art. I mean, there are plenty of ways of staying active, so you just have to choose something that inspires you and stick with it. The, uh, you mentioned the Special K bar. Mm -hmm. um, they're not meal replacements. Uh, can you just speak on those just a little bit? They're, Absolutely. Uh, they're a great snack, but you can't overdo those either, though. Absolutely. And you yeah. know what? There's lots of information on the website about the nutritional value, so I will defer you to specialk.ca to get... <laughs> Um, correct information about um, calorie mm -hmm. count and stuff like that. But absolutely, it's a great way of preparing yourself for those moments of truth that mm -hmm. I mentioned before <laughs> where you know you're, you, ha you can have a, a package of them in your desk drawer so that you know when you're trying to keep your metabolism going from meal to meal, it's a good little snack to keep the metabolism revving up mm -hmm. and prepared rather than you know having no energy whatsoever mm -hmm. and then overindulging at your next meal. I like to mix up some fruit and yogurt and then throw some cereal in there Excellent. just to get that mm -hmm. crunch, you know, so yeah. you have that texture. Yeah. Yeah. Something just for a little snack. But you, you're talking about snack. That's probably one of the best mis misconceptions. You know this probably, you know this better than I do, is that people, uh, if they're having a big dinner, they just won't eat lunch and think yeah. that that's okay. And people, I still mm -hmm. hear that. Oh, yeah. I, that, I didn't eat lunch, so I'm allowed to. 
That's just you know the what? worst day. Don't do it. Don't do it for your metabolism. Mm -hmm. uh, picture it like a car. You want to steadily give it some gas. You don't want to rev it up and then have it slow down, mm -hmm. right? Your body needs energy. Your metabolism needs energy to keep working. Mm -hmm. uh, ha what would happen if you skipped a meal and then you went to try and have a workout? What would your energy be, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's important to feed the body. What do you recommend, just on that note, before a workout? Let's, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a, a quick fix, someone's just, maybe they're running, maybe they're coming to one of your classes. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure some of the Kellogg's products, and, and again, you can go to the website f for that, but what do you recommend, a little carb blast before? Yeah. You know what I do? I do an apple, and yeah. I do a Kellogg's Special K bar. Okay, that works, That's my yeah. little snack before, yeah. I'm not too full, and it gives me a, the appropriate energy to get through, mm -hmm. and water, lots of water. Lots of water. How long before your workout will you enjoy that apple and the Kellogg's bar? I like it an hour before, okay. just because the workouts that I'm doing are quite vigorous, and mm -hmm. I don't want during the cardio to, you know, experience a cramp or something like that. That was always my challenge, too, is, is yeah. finding the right thing, even though, like, an apple and that could be fine. Sometimes people's bodies will react yeah. different, and yeah. then, you, you, you know, you, you don't feel good. It starts to I think it's going to be different for everyone, so just yeah. test it out and experiment. Maybe it's two hours before for you. Mm -hmm. so. What are some tips you can give people to uh, who haven't gotten started yet or maybe you just have kind of lost their momentum on their resolutions? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So some tips are to assess your exercise personality and interest. So if you like to work out on your own, maybe the gym is for you. If you need the encouragement of being in a group atmosphere, Oh, and need that encouragement to stay committed. Maybe it's an eight-week session of something that you can commit to. Maybe you should surround yourself with friends. But most of all, you should try that sp Kellogg Special K Challenge. It mm -hmm. is simple, and I'm telling you, at the end of four weeks, you're going to feel great. I love it. That's great. The website is uh, specialk.ca. And uh, thank you so much for being here. Pleasure to meet thank you. you. Thank you so much. All right.